How's it going guys? I have five of these Matchbox Pontiac convertibles and in the order from I guess the best to the worst this one has the only windshield that's 9 out of 10 black bottom, the tow hook and black wheels I think that's the one I'm gonna restore to bring back to the best and then I have this one as you can see the windshield is cracked black bottom, black wheels and the tow hook and then I have this one with no windshield black bottom, the black wheels are good and the tow hook's there so basically and I'm also missing the steering wheel well, that one has a steering wheel and that one has a steering wheel so on this one I'm missing the steering wheel on this one I'm missing the steering wheel which looks like it was red there's a little red post this one has tan interior or unless that's the white faded but it looks tan this one has um, steel wheels and a red bottom and the tow hook is gone as you can see no tow hook and then the last one is in really bad shape it has um, the steering wheel no windshield gray wheels and a tow hook and it's kind of smashed down in the front right here is a dent which makes the car sit to one side so I think we're gonna start with this one because it's the only one that I have with a decent windshield and then this one I'll save and this one I'll save and so on okay I'm gonna drill this one out right now I'll get right back to you so there I have it the windshield has one little crack in it the interior just needs to be clean there's the body there's the chassis and I think I'm gonna use this one for the second part of the car and this is the the one I chose to work with for the second part of the car that I want has a black bottom black wheels and the tow hook so I took this one and cut the front off and I'm going to use the back as a trailer so there you have the trailer part and then these this one this one and this one these three and the half front are saved for another project so let's get this back piece and this piece let's get the paint off so the back of the trailer I'm gonna make is in two pieces I'm gonna put this piece with this piece right in the paint remover be right back and for this next step I'm using rock miracle paint and varnish remover I already have it on the parts I have uh, the gloves on and I am wearing glasses it's already bubbling up as you could see right there here we go it's always a fun part of the hobby okay 
let this sit for a minute and I'll be right back the paint is just about off as you can see okay and the paint is gone there's the body that's gonna be my trailer I'm just gonna hit it with a little sanding to get the yellow off and here's my sanding pad the sponge type both parts have been lightly sanded not too much because you want to take away any details and I'm gonna prime it with Rust-Oleum superior coverage and durability I've used this a few times in the past in fact a lot and it works fine so I'm gonna go prime it right now all right the priming is done as you can see there's the trailer there's the car So I do want to paint, just clean up and paint the bottom black. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it that way. And I have to sand down the back of the, the part of the trail that, that's going to be here is going to have to be uh, sanded down also. So this is what happened. I lost a little bit of time, about a day and a half, because the yellow I had was really yellowy, like like this color yellow or taxi cab orange is yellow so I had to go out and find a, just a tone touch down from the yellow like a cream yellow because I didn't like the way it was it was gonna look on the sample so this is what I'm using Rust-Oleum's and it's it's a calmer yellow and we're gonna paint it right now and there's the first coat and I was right this is a much nicer yellow it's not a taxi cab yellow it'll look, uh, it'll look nicer when it's finished So I painted the car, primed it, and painted it twice. Right now you're looking at it wet. I want to show you how close I got the color. So this is one of the other ones that's that had the cracked windshield. That's how close I got the painter, so it really does look nice. I'm letting that dry. And then tonight, this is painted. This is going to be the trailer, like you see at a car show. And I'm going to put this together and make a wall here. We're going to work on that right now. Okay, guys. So, here is the back of the car, which I plan to make into a trailer. And it's been primed and it's been painted. The only problem I'm seeing is that when you don't have the other part attached to it, the car will collapse so to solve that problem I'm going to this product here which is all fixed epoxy it's a sculpting uh, sculpting clay it works great it comes in these two containers and you just take a little bit of each like that and mix them together like I'm gonna do right now I've used this before in other videos to make a quick um, a quick molding clay and it gives you a lot of time to work with it this is something you don't not you don't have to be in a rush with so the, the, the paint came out really good I just want to make a wall right here and it's about ready so 
I'm just going to take a little bit and roll it up and see if this will be enough. And as you can see, I'll put it on something a little higher. That's going to be the trailer. And when it dries, this is the area right here where I'm going to fill it in. And it'll be like a, a piece of flat metal. And then I'll paint it, prime it, and paint it yellow. Oh, there you have it. I get right back to you. Okay guys, so basically I made the front wall of the trailer. Two wheels on it. It sits like that. When it's attached to the back of a car, it won't. It'll sit more like that. And that's the look I'm going for, for a trailer. So it has to dry. And then I'm going to make a tow hook for it and uh, paint the whole thing yellow again. Be right with you. So here's the windshield. I put a dot of a clear glue in it because I could not find another windshield. The interior with the steering wheel is perfect, came out great. Here's the car, and I'm going to do the front in chrome right now, and the back tail light's red. Be right back. So that's the front. I did the door handles and a little bit on the rear. And now, we're going to put it together. So, this is the little trailer I made for taking seats and barbecues to the car shows. And now I have to make uh, a hook for it. A tow hitch. So, I found this black paper clip and I'm making the hook for the trailer out of the black paper clip. It was a kind of a luck out that it was in black already. Now I don't have to paint it. And I used JB Weld and my hook is in place. And here's the finished car guys. Matchbox Pontiac convertible. And in one minute, the trail will be completed also. Be right back. Restoration of the Pontiac convertible by Matchbox. And a homemade trailer to go to car shows with and bring your chairs and your barbecue and have a good time. Be right back.
Thanks for watching. God bless. Please subscribe and leave your comments below. Have a great day, Mike.